What are the reasons to divorce? The Bible says it should be divorce should not be given should be given on issues of adultery. That's what the Bible says over in the sixth commandment: Thou shalt not commit adultery. Adultery takes in uh, not just uh, uh, marital, uh, where a husband is married and cheats on his wife, but it takes in the seventh commandment takes in uh, all other sins as well, all sexual sins, from uh, homosexuality on down to um, pornography. Whosoever look upon a woman to lust after or commit adultery in his heart, Jesus said. All right? Uh, and so if a man is watching pornography and he's watching this going on, what is he doing? He's committing adultery in his heart. And um, now you say, well, he didn't get caught. He, he, he don't handle a physical person. The fact that he has it in his mind, the Bible says a man think of in his heart, so is he. So if you're thinking about adultery all the time, guess what? Eventually you will commit it. It's just a matter of time. You may lack, you may lack the opportunity, but eventually you will do it because that's in your heart. As you think of in the heart, so you, you are changed by beholding. And so some people think, well, that's not no grounds because he didn't get caught. He didn't get, no, the grounds are there because this is in the mind. Jesus, when Jesus said, look upon a woman to commit adultery, what is he talking about? Is he talking about getting somewhere with her or is he just talking about looking at her with those thoughts in your mind? And here you watching a video that brings the thoughts to your mind? <laughs> no, 